Dear one, begin by getting very, very comfortable. This meditation has been created to help you heal and confront unconscious, dysfunctional, negative, codependent programming. The mind needs to understand what happened. It needs to understand why it attaches to other people, other people's opinions, other people's feelings, other people's actions. Back long ago, when you were an innocent little child, you needed to feel bonded to mother. You needed to feel bonded to father. You needed to not only feel love, but you needed to be able to express love. You are love. The being that you are was frustrated, confused, and you were right. It is normal to want to love and to be loved. It is abnormal to feel rejected, unwanted, abandoned, apart from the people who brought us to earth. Your tiny being, your fragile mind, your emotional body were right. Things were wrong. Relationships felt awkward. Sometimes nothing felt right. It is essential to understand what improper bonding in childhood does to a psyche and how it affects the psychology and the ever evolving landscape of an innocent child's brain. You incarnated here to love and to be loved. And in your most innocent form, you knew what love was. And you knew what love was not. Love felt good. It felt good to need. It felt natural to need. It felt good to want. It felt natural to want. 
it felt good to express. It felt natural to express. When you incarnated here, your brain forgot who you really were. We are on the journey to awakening. And remembering that we came from love. That our innate being is love. And that it is our brain, our psychology, that acts like a filter that prevents our spirit from living in abundance, in knowing. In knowing we are enough. Like a microchip, our brains were programmed just like a computer to feel like we were not enough. And when our mothers and or our fathers rejected us in any way, ignored us, treated us with indifference, had no time for us, glared at us, criticized us, embarrassed us, insulted us, beat us, mocked us, did drugs in front of us, acted inappropriately in front of us. When they had conversations with us, they should not have. When they made us their confidants, When they treated us one way, when we were alone, and in another way, in front of others. When they used religion against us. When they told us our other parent didn't love us, when they said we were useless, we'd never have any friends, when they compared us to others, when they were nicer to other people than they were to us. They were abandoning us and denying us the right to attach 
and feel bonded in a natural way. The attachment, the bonds that we needed to make when we incarnated on Gaia in order to feel safe, in order to feel grounded, was disrupted by our humanoid parents whose own brains had been corrupted by their parents. Our attachment to our mother and our father were the ways our ethereal beings, our emotional beings, our physical beings were meant to be grounded here on Gaia. The insufficient bonds disrupted that grounding. All our lives, we have been in search of that grounding, that bond, that connection. We have become co-dependent on others because energetically we are seeking that grounding. It is not your fault. It is not the fault of any codependent for seeking attachments to energy beings who carry with them similar energetic charges to mother and father. In fact, it is brilliant, yet flawed to do so. It is brilliant that on an innate level, we know we deserve and need that grounding. It proves we are not crazy. It is good to feel bonded to others. But unless we stay awake, unless we stay highly conscious, we will continue to seek attachments and bonds with flawed energy beings in an attempt to secure the attachments that were interrupted when we were children. As human beings evolve, as 
we become more enlightened, more intelligent, more self-compassionate, more self-understanding, more self-empathetic, more self-appreciative, more self-aware, We learn to understand. We no longer have to be codependent upon anyone or anything outside of the divine and sacred self. Within us, we are the head, the body, and the soul. We have within us the ability to heal self by recognizing self. The mind is expansive, consciousness infinite. You can expand your consciousness. You can become the eye in the sky. You can fly like an eagle and observe dysfunction on the ground below and at the same time recognize you are not that dysfunction. You are vast, an extension of Creator. You can observe the patterns within without absorbing the patterns. You can have compassion for the innocent child who was refused and denied the grounding and the attachment. and the exchanging of love energy. Feel the love vibration in this audio. Feel the channeling of love. Connect with me to love, to Gaia, to the universe. Allow the programs to dissolve. Allow new information in. Practice loving the self, accepting the self. Confront the program that has you believing you need other people's validation. You do not.
bond to self. Bond with Gaia. Heal.